Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free English ebook before it's gone. Hey everyone, I'm Paris from EnglishClass101.com. In this video, we're talking about how to ask and give directions. Let's start. To the left, to the left. The first phrase is, where is the? Where is the? For example, you can ask, where is the bank? This can be used to ask for a general location or detailed directions. Don't be surprised if you only receive basic information. For example, next to the grocery store. The next phrase is, I need to go to the. I need to go to the. For example, you can say, I need to go to the police station. The word need is used, but this is used for non-emergencies as well. How do I get to the? How do I get to the? For example, you can say, how do I get to the museum? This question can be used to ask for step-by-step -step directions instead of a general location. Is the near here? Is the near here? For example, you can say, is the library near here? If you're unfamiliar with an area, you can ask to get this information about a specific place where you want to go. Is the bathroom near here? Excuse me, do you know where the is? Excuse me, do you know where the is? For example, you can say, excuse me, do you know where the park is? Only use excuse me when you're starting a conversation with a stranger. Another common phrase is, is the far from here? Is the far from here? For example, you can say, is the post office far from here? This is an indirect way to ask for directions. People will tell you how far the place is and probably tell you the best way to get there. Walking, taking a bus, driving, Uber. Now let's take a look at expressions to give directions. Turn left, turn left. For example, you can say, turn left after two blocks. This gives you information about how far you should go before you make any changes. In this case, you should go left. To the left, to the left. Turn right, turn right. For example, you can say, turn right at the third traffic light. This also gives you information about how far you should go before taking another action. In this case, you should go right. Go straight, go straight. This simply tells you to go in one direction. It also implies that if you keep going straight, that you will eventually find what you're looking for. Go past, go past. For example, you can say, go past the church. A landmark is just an easily noticeable place. For example, a movie, theater, restaurant. At the corner of. At the corner of. For example, you can say, it's at the corner of. This means that a place is located at the corner where two streets meet. In front of. In front of. For example, you can say the bus station is in front of the supermarket. We use front to refer to the main entrance of a building. It can also mean visible from the front and doesn't necessarily mean it's directly in front of something. Behind, behind. For example, you can say the parking lot is behind the movie theater. We use behind to say that something is at the rear of a building. The front of a building is its main entrance. So which side it's facing the street is really not important. Next to, next to. For example, you can say the restaurant is next to the park. This is an example of using a non-specific location to give general directions. Next to can be anywhere beside, in front of, or around a place. McDonald's is next to my house. Between, between. For example, you can say the store is between the coffee shop and the pet store. Between is used with two other places. When using between, the main place will always be in the middle of the two other places. Okay, that's all for this lesson. Which phrase do you like the most? Leave us a comment and let us know. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.